Right, so, got a Gronk all packed up, ready to go. Gonna send it back to Hornby and see if they can have a look at it for me. So, hopefully, when this comes back, um, all the horror stories I've heard will be not true. But we'll see how we got on. Wish me luck. tracks in this video the Gronk has returned to us from uh, Hornby repair so uh, let's crack her open and uh, see what they did with us shall we right, so that was the same box I sent it off in just um, so you know. I'm not sure if I... I think they added that, to my knowledge, as well as the... Um, that stuff. That wasn't me. Right, so... From first look, it looks okay. Now I know I took my little uh, pamphlet out, so that's interesting. I think they've replaced the box. Gronk. Pull her out, take a look. Oh, rip it box. That was silly. Interesting, because mine had a tear in it. Got another one of these. These front cables here, I don't know if you can see them from there, I might have to put up the photo. But they're incredibly fiddly to put in, so I was using a pair of tweezers. And what's happened is, I was on the back actually. I was trying to put the cables and the brake pipe in there and all of a sudden it went bing, and it was never to be seen again. I contacted Hornby. Now this has nothing to do with the fact that I'm filming it for a review or anything. I didn't mention it. But they sent me an additional bag of uh, bits. So I'm going to attach them real quick and then we're going to get down on the light box. Now I did get another one from um, Okay. Um I have suspicions here. I think that this is just a brand new model. I think it is. This is not my Gronk. But I'll tell you why. I'm going to pull up some photos here just so you can see what I'm seeing. But the giveaway is this and the lack of everything else. Because my Gronk had all the details applied. This is a brand new Gronk, which luckily for me um, is coming in the uh, BR Blue livery because uh, 
This has been discontinued. I don't know if you're aware of that or not. The blue version, no longer available. Right, so uh, looking at the um, new catalogue that's come out recently, obviously there's uh, been some things that have been uh, bumped out. Um, the first one, and this extends to the website as well, this first one, um, the Blue Class 08. Um, what's the status on that at the moment? Because the feeling is it may have been discontinued. Um, it, it's 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 been and gone, and uh, so that's something to for us to look at, you know, and kind of maybe linking this back to one of the earlier questions is, will we bring that same one back again? No, we won't. We'll probably do another running number, um, and and that's because we then have the opportunity to do it because it's essentially um, been and gone. Okay, so for anyone that has a blue OH shunter right now, that would now be deemed sort of a collector's item, maybe. Yes, potentially. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen second-hand ones going on eBay for retail price already, so sky's the limit on that one, I think. <laughs> yeah. So, the fact they have new one or a new one knocking about is uh, that's something. I will take the bottom off just to make sure that the um, the original problem has been solved and if it is a new one obviously that has been solved so let me grab my screwdriver and um we'll take a closer look at what's going on here all right i've changed over to my phone so hopefully the video quality is still up to scratch but um yeah let's have a little look uh oh god how do i take the bottom off There's usually a way to tell if you've got uh, scratches on the wheels from what I've heard, but unless my eyes are really bad, I can't see anything. But there is an easy way to tell if this is my gronk or whether they've just replaced bits and pieces. Cotton bud with some IPA. Now, if these wheels are dirty in any way, then the wheels are mine at the very least. Teeniest, tiniest, bit of dirt but not as much as I would expect if it was mine basically what the original problem was was these on here the pickups now during one of my runs little gronk was trundling around happy as can be and all of a sudden it started making a clicking noise. So instantly I stopped it and pulled it off the track. Could not work out what the clicking noise was. So started running it again, see if it would do it again. And not only did it click, but it eventually stopped. And it stopped dead. Now what had happened is that these tiny little pickups or one of them at least, had caught inside inside the, uh, what do you call it, the spokes. And it had uh, started wrapping itself up to the point where these were no longer anywhere near straight or touching the back of the wheel. They were wrapped up. And no contact, it was dead. So I've done what I've done here, taken this piece off. I straightened out whichever one of these it was as best as I could and popped it back in. Still wasn't working. Now, the problem then became, I don't know if you can see it, 
But on these pickups, there's just a little bit of black paint at the very ends of these pickups. Now, what that does, it isolates the pickups from this massive metal chassis in the middle. So it was basically creating a short. So what I did, I repainted the black bits back on here because when it curled up, it basically chipped all this away and exposed the metal. So I painted on that one and also, I believe it was the back. I also painted around, not in focus, around, I just gently got a paintbrush behind there and painted just that edge of the chassis where it would have made contact. So I did get it working. So when I sent it off to repair, it was technically working. So I just sent the email explaining what had happened, basically saying all it needs is the new pickups. And the email I got said, right, fair enough. Get those changed for you. And they did. Well, they said they did. But I'm thinking they have just replaced the entire model. Which is nice, don't get me wrong. I feel a little bit, um, I don't know, it's a bit silly really, but I feel a bit sentimental about my poor little Gronk that's uh, gone off into the, I don't know, the recycle bin, I suppose. Or maybe Hornby just decided they were going to repair it and stick it in one of their sails, maybe, I don't know. Or perhaps keep it as a um, spares donor for other repairs, maybe. Who knows? But let's make sure everything's behaving. I'm not used to working with the camera like this. I keep holding it above the lens. See what it was doing. I don't know if that caught on camera there. But where that was poking up there, that's exactly what I didn't want it to do. So this one here. It's a bit, uh, shall we say, proud. So pop that back in there. Well, I think it's doing what it wants to do. But yeah, Hornby Repair have basically replaced my locomotive. I am convinced now. So, Gronk point two. Um, I suppose it's only polite to uh, get her down on the layout, I suppose. Well, that would have been a good idea, except, unfortunately, the front NEM pocket has broken off. And after a little bit of uh, investigating, I can see that there's a little tab inside the frame here that was supposed to hold the neb pocket in place which is completely gone uh, you can see it here on the rear now of course I don't believe this is uh, the fault of Hornby or the repair it's just unlucky that I've uh, I seem to have faulty model so inevitably back in the post I suppose but then as luck would have it they say bad luck comes in freeze I have had two further locomotives fail this week, so it's, it's not been a good week. So at least the Gronk will have some travelling buddies now. And uh, I'll have to get back to you when they've all returned. So, until next time.